Impact testing is a quick, low-cost way to obtain the experimental mode shapes of a structure. Most often, impact tests are easy to set up and are ideal for smaller structures where use of other input forces, such as a shaker, would likely affect the boundary conditions. Roving impact tests, as shown in this video, involve attaching a fixed reference accelerometer to an active vibration point and roving the hammer to impact the structure at an unlimited number of points and directions. A roving impact test can be completed accurately with as little as a single axis accelerometer, an impact hammer with a load cell at the tip, and a two-channel acquisition hardware front end. The acquired data can then be processed in Emiscope VES to determine and display the mode shapes in animation. In this video, a roving impact test is performed on a simple I-beam using a DITRAN model 3133A1 triaxial accelerometer, a DITRAN 5800B2 impact hammer, a four-channel acquisition unit, and Vibrant Technologies Emiscope VES. The following steps are carried out to obtain the experimental modes of the I-beam using Emiscope. 1. Mount the test article with desired boundary conditions. The beam is placed on foam to simulate a free-free environment. 2. Lay out the test points. The points of impact are clearly marked on the beam. 3. Attach a fixed reference accelerometer and an active vibration point. The accelerometer is fixed at point 1. 4. Set up data acquisition in the acquisition window within Emiscope, which will acquire data directly from the unit. 5. Acquire forced response functions by impacting at all points and directions where the mode shape data is desired. 6. Build a 3D model. 7. Assign each forced response function to a degree of freedom on the model where the test article was impacted when the FRF was acquired. 8. Display the mode shapes in animation by placing the cursor at peaks in the FRFs. As we catch up with the test itself, you can see the impact at point 6 on the beam. Notice the impulse response displayed within the Emiscope acquisition window. The top half of the display shows the impulse response in the time domain, and the lower half displays the FRFs in the frequency domain. Each time a satisfactory measurement is achieved, the traces are saved into a data block for post-processing. Following the completion of our roving impact test, we are ready to begin setting our model up for animation of the data within Emiscope. We select Draw, Points, Number Points to begin numbering the test points on our 3D model. Notice in the pop-up window how the point selection indicator starts at 1. We use the mouse pointer to click and select the test points marked on the model in sequential order starting at 1, our fixed reference point, and ending at 48. We can then sort our points in the point spreadsheet by label by selecting Draw, Points, Sort Points by Label. Next, we will assign each FRF from the data block acquired by our roving impact test to its appropriate degree of freedom, or DOF, on the 3D model. To do this, we select Draw, Animation Equations, Create Measured, or Assign Measurement Numbers. This matches the DOS from the 3D model with the DOS from the data block. At this point, we are ready to animate our model using our acquired data. As we select the Animate button, a pop-up asks us if we would like to use interpolated equations. Interpolation allows us to animate the points of the model for which we have no collected data based on the nearest points that we do have assigned data. We choose to interpolate based on the two nearest points. As the animation begins, notice the data block on the right, where the magnitude of the FRFs is displayed. The peak cursor is placed on the selected peak, and the shape at that frequency is displayed through animation. Each shape can be saved into a shape table for easy future recall.
For more information on the instruments, products, or techniques used in this video, please contact Ditran Instruments or Vibrant Technology.